So we're going to look at a couple of ACM examples, and the point of this is to understand SSL termination. So the first one here we have is we're using ACM and we're attaching that certificate to our load balancer, which is application load balancer. And if you see that line, the idea is that this red line represents uh, the traffic that is encrypted. And so once it hits the ALB, the certificate is going to decrypt that, uh, um, that traffic. And then everything between the ALB to the EC2 instance is now unencrypted. And that's totally fine because it's within your network. So it's still secure. Um, but you know, for someone to uh, take advantage of that, they'd have to break into your um, AWS account and they'd have to be able to intercept that traffic. So it's a very low risk. Um, but a, but a, uh, the ACM can only really be attached to um, uh, Elastic Load Balancer, CloudFront, or API Gateway. So it's not easy to uh, protect this traffic here. Um, but the advantage of attaching uh, your certificates at this level here is that you can add as many EC2 instances as you want. And you don't have to configure each one of them um, to uh, be able to handle a certificate. So that makes it a lot easier to manage um, certificates. Now, the other case is terminating SSL end to end. And this is where the traffic uh, from the start to the finish is encrypted. So even within your network, it's going to be encrypted. And the way you would do that, um, I don't know how to do with ACM. I don't even think you can do it with ACM because uh, ACM, I've only known it being able to attach to resources over here. But you, I guess you could use Let's Encrypt. And so you'd have to set that up on every single uh, server. Uh, and then rotate them out. And that's kind of uh, a bit of a hassle to maintain, but a lot of people are used to doing that. Uh, and this is if you need end-to-end -end encryption, this is gonna be dependent on your compliancy. So if you're a large corporation, maybe you have a, like a, a rule that says you have to encrypt end-to-end. -end. But uh, for 99% of other use cases, this is more ideal terminating SSL at the load balancer. So there you go.